from Bohemic. I just wanted to show you today I'm making goat's milk soap and so I have frozen cubes of goat's milk and I'm slowly adding my lye to it um, and you want to add it slowly because you don't want um, the milk to overheat and curdle on you so you basically just add little bit by bit just sprinkle a tiny bit in there and then just keep stirring also because it's cloudy you will, can't really see whether it's dissolved properly or not so um, you know just stir as much as possible um, until all the cubes are dissolved it's not a big batch uh, and it's going to have goat's milk in it so my last solution is going in With gold smoke, it's always um, advisable to soap at lower temperature than you normally would. As I previously said, um, you know, freeze the cubes to prevent um, overheating lye solution. Milk overheats really easily, and we really don't want that. But then it will create clumps. So now for the colours we have just titanium dioxide and pink. So I'm just going to give it a little, little whisk um, and then add the CD in. There. I think it's just a mixture of mica and some red oxide. It's going to be our frosting. Okay, so in with the blender. darker so I'm going to add some more liquid colour to make it a little bit pop. I don't want to over risk but that seems Okay, 
Okay, and in with the fragrance. I'm just going to put fragrance into this one first. Because we don't want... mixture season on me. Like in previous two videos, but this is a different recipe, so it shouldn't happen. I'm pretty positive it won't, but you never know. Maybe just a tap more fragrance. And I think if we whisk one more and we are ready to pour. I've um, measured everything correctly, so we will see. But if there's any leftovers, I can always. And we'll be pouring the mixture into our heart moulds as we go. Well, these are pretty simple, you know, nothing too complicated, but they look really pretty. I made these before, so I just decided to make another batch. I know this fragrance thickens up pretty quick, so that's why I added the fragrance really late. <laughs> Okay, and I'll bang it quickly, just to get the air bubbles out. Okay, so that's that. And for um, the rest of it, I'm just going to pour these in little moulds. These are going to be samples. if I'm lucky to pour them in. <laughs> Quite thick now. Okay, so butter's I nearly like ready. I just wanted to show you when it forms peaks and they actually stay, that's what happens um, when you know it's ready. And also, if you wiggle it, it doesn't move anymore. So, I'm just going to go ahead and um, fill in my piping bag and I'm going to be piping this. You don't want it too thick because then it won't come through, but this is the perfect consistency if you want to get it out. Patience is a virtue, as they say. Hopefully that's better. Piping nozzle is getting a bit messy because butter is sticking in that for me. So you just clean it up and keep going. Okay, and I've got quite a lot of butter left over, so I'm just going to pipe it in here and just fill up these ones.
also what you can do, if you have lots of butter left over, um, you can just type it out to make little embeds for next time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And type little flowers. And you can use this next time. Oops. Salt left over. I have made some embeds and some little sample ones and some more embeds over there. Um, but just to finish these off, what I'm going to do is sprinkle some dried roses on top of these and then put two rose buds on each. No glitter on these at all. Just a little sprinkle and then in each of those will go those but what well, two actually sorry sorry about the light it's awful Okay, and there you have it. So, these are my Chanel number five. Oh, I forgot to put rose buff on there. Haha. -ha. Okay, there we go. So, this is my Chanel number five. Cupcakes. Okay, everyone, thanks very much for watching. And I shall see you next time. Bye-bye.